Hello there guys, um, it's Gary and Steven here. Hello. And we're going to be playing a little bit of Wakfu. We've never played this before, so uh, why don't you kind of learn <laughs> learn it with us. It's kind of a first peek. It's obviously just come out. Um, uh, it looks fairly interesting. So uh, we're just going to have a quick look through the classes here. There seems to be a, a wide variety in uh, the art style looks uh, is really up my alley. Some people might look at this and absolutely hate it, which is fair enough. But uh, <laughs> to be fair, if you want to play as a squid with dreadlocks in green, this guy kind of sorted. Pretty, it's this like, guy has got you. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a Bob Marley gone wrong. <laughs> Want some reggae songs? But, um, oh, they sound it awesome. They, they use plants to fight enemies with. Hey, man. I think I'll pass on that class. Let's, let's move on from the plant wielding <laughs> ramble. <laughs> Ooh. I have no idea what she does, but I think the uh, art style is uh, they, they like their bappage. Mm, Dear I lord, even the I approve. pandas have baps. Um, well, pandas don't have baps. Tell me that. So yeah, um, it's got you covered on pretty much most yeah. of the uh, I'm not quite sure what she is. I mean, anyone really who's played an MMO before, I think, is going to feel quite welcome at their home screen here. I mean, it seems fairly explanatory. Gives you a quick sort of brief of what the class is is like. I mean, you can clearly tell really from the, like Gary says, the awesome art style on it. In my opinion, anyway, you can instantly tell what the class is going to be like. I mean, clearly, the person holding the bow and arrow is definitely a healer. It goes without saying. Okay, these guys you sacrifice to do damage, but for the sake of uh, for the sake of just showing it, let's just jump in as uh, any old thing really. And what are you going to play, SD? Uh, I'm not going to look at this woman. I mean, she's got a big ass sword. Apparently, she needs to feed on blood to kick ass. I mean, what's not to like? All right, I think I'm going to go down the uh, only this wolf woman thing. Why not? Eh? Yeah, no idea what she does, but let's roll with that. Yeah, apparently it'd be great to show me a good view of my character for when designing. That'll do. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Face hair? Alright, oh, it just means hair. <laughs> thought I could give my woman facial hair. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I like that. There you go. A little bit of customization. I mean, I have seen a few screenies and maybe watched a video or two of it. Um, it does seem, of course, inside game you get to customise your armour into some sort of batshit crazy contraptions. I think this is almost just like your go-to gear when you're chilling in the city. But I'm feeling the black. She looks badass. She looks like she could mess someone up. Same you can't change their hair colour. That would probably be my only You can change their hair colour. Say what? Yeah, you've got that middle bar. Where? Where on earth are you? You've just got to go to the main screen. Yeah. Customization. Yeah. What are you about? Yeah. So I pick on her? Yeah. Next. Yeah, hit tick. And change the hair. This is, see, told you, we're all learning together. <laughs> this is a team effort. Fan Dabby Dozy. Okay, she seems pretty cool for me. Uh, what shall I call her? Oh, I don't know. Let's go for a bit of incision. That's what I, she looks kind of uh, up close in your face. You see, I've already made a character here. So, uh, she's kind of the healer style. That's my usual kind of character. But, uh, alright, let's... Uh, Name limitation? Because I have no limitations. Let's get playing and see how this goes. Oh, cool little entrance screen. Um, to be honest, I think that the best way of explaining it to anyone is if anybody has played Bastion, the art style is very rem reminiscent of that. Um, it's also kind of a nice hybrid of, of what would appear to be like Final Fantasy Tactics or you know, that sort of style of tile based combat crossed over with Ragnarok. So you've got a Ragnarok slash. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy Tactics. Tactics slash Bastion game. I mean, what's not to like? Those aren't bad building blocks, to be fair. There's a cat, I'm going to attack it. Why not? Killing cat seems uh, totally okay. legit. So, oh uh, well. <laughs> oh, he dies having, in one. <laughs> having, a, having a move called Fist sounds like something I want to use. So, how do I go about punching him? Alright, that brings up information. Okay, so, we've saved this little guy now. Ready to fight. I'm ready to fight. I'm going to punch him. Alright, cool. I kind of feel bad. Pun awesome, I just one hit a cat. Oh, level up, that's what I like. Yeah. I mean, it gives you a quick tutorial here. Don't forget to distribute your five skill points. Awesome! Alright, let's go through here. 
that's going on. I'm fairly certain there's a treasure chest back there that I just completely ignored. Yeah, that's got sitter now. I think you actually earn your emotes on this game, which is fairly interesting. Hmm. So now I can sit here. Okay, how do I get it? That's how do I get it? It's in the chest, and then you just have to learn it by double clicking it. I've done that. Many a times. Okay. All the time. Ah, whatever. Okay, oh, cool. Let's go for this door. I think that got it for me. Not very clear telling me that I'd actually pick that up. At the moment, I think we're in an instanced area, but uh, hopefully right. soon we should be able to play alongside each other a little bit. I'm just going to attack this bunny, just so I can sort of show off the combat and what have you. Okay, my cat decided to go on a mad one. <laughs> it looks as if the green blocks are blocks you can actually move to before combat, then you can engage in combat. And I think what we've got down, if you look down to the bottom middle, obviously you've got your health. Uh, the blue six is your moves, and it looks as if every move has a blue star. And I think that's how many points that will use. So if you've got six points, you can potentially use two threes or a four and a, a two. Uh, I believe the W is special moves, and the three with the little chappy running next to it is how many blocks you can actually move. Uh, so this rabbit has just taken a little cheeky dig at me for no apparent reason. So uh, let's get in his face. I'm not firing up on the boat, Scooby! Okay, I hit more with my fist than I do with a bolt of lightning. I think I just broke one. Okay, you need to end your turn. Which is... Oh yeah, I'm all about launching the power of Earth into my punch. Oh, I have some of that. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. I'm just using any old move. Okay, well, it seems quite interesting to turn-based combat. And like I say, with the, the system it has in terms of movement, is you can almost get in there, lob a couple of cheeky punches at the enemy, and then bail, in effect. Is that what you're doing? I'm just standing in there and getting my face destroyed. Oh no, I, I gave the bunny a, a few twats for the face. Also, shift to the side and it reduces her dodge chance. 5 HP there. Okay. Just gonna give it a cheeky punch. So I've now got some, uh, looks like I've got rabbit slippers. Why wouldn't you want them? I mean, who doesn't want rabbit slippers? Hmm, that's a good point. But this item cannot yet be equipped, which is a massive disappointment. Yeah, everybody wants rabbit slippers in their life. I'd on, say a on a comfort scale of 1 to 10, they're definitely, <laughs> definitely hitting the peak. So, well, that rabbit, rabbit, like I can't even speak anymore, that rabbit gave me a bit of a run for my money. It was definitely challenging me. I'd say one of the things that really appeals to me is the art style in this game. It does look as if it's all hand drawn. It's very impressive. And the character animations as well. I mean, the only kind of thing I suppose I've played that's similar to this is Ragnarok. And don't get me wrong, Ragnarok was an awesome game. But the animations on the characters do show their age when you put it something next to something like this, don't they? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, Ragnarok, gotta say, probably one of my favourite MMOs of all time. It's held a special place, even though I didn't really play that much. Okay, so I think we're going to get a quick look at the crafting in this now. Um, anybody currently watching my split side of the screen here can see that I've actually brought up the spell list here. So I'll drag it into the center so you can see it a bit clearer. Um, essentially, you've got your different elements. So this character seems to be able to do fire, earth, and air, which I think applies to most people. And then you have a small support bracket, which is your standard things like you can now jump because you know who doesn't want to be able to jump high? Vitality or virality, as it's called on this, just your standard increased hit points. The interesting thing is, it seems like you have a certain amount of points you can distribute, and then by sliding the scale. You can actually choose how many points you'd like to put into it. It's quite interesting, I mean, as it stands, I haven't actually got any. So. Okay, guys, well, we've eventually managed to figure out how to play alongside each other. It did take a, a trip onto the forums. It seems the game uses a fairly, uh, in my opinion, daft method of uh, sharding the server. Um, oh, hello, we've got multi bunnies going on here. Meant that we had to zone out and zone in to, to get things working, but. Bear with me. Uh, Are you ready to battle? Oh, yeah, I've just teleported next to that rabbit and I'm on him. Go for it. Right, I'm taking care of this bitch. <laughs> okay, so it's your turn at the moment. Mine's Ender. Who thinks this guy has to get some double team on him? I mean, it's quite interesting, like, the blend of an MMO with turn based combat is suddenly something fresh in games. Did you just lick him? I I'm not sure what I've done. It was sex or whatever it was. It's definitely turn me on. Oh, okay, sorry, I've got to end my turn. Now this bunny's moving in, look at him. Little ferocious little butt. Look at look look him! That. He does more damage than me! Oh my god, he's being Ken comboed. Some. He's giving it some. Oh, this one's going down now. Alright, he's dead. He's oh, toast. He's down and out. I'm moving on to the next. Yeah, let's attack the spe 
Yeah, well that was a tad foolish. Uh, it was a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, end in turn. Yeah, I'd definitely lick it. Yeah, saucy. And it makes him look very angry. I need to keep remembering to end my turn. Yeah, that could get confused. I'm not gonna shift behind him for some. Oh, you hello, you sneaky little demon, you sneaky little Russian. I've got a move called Jab. So this will jab her. Yeah, there's a combo in him. Oh, oh, what was that? What was that all about? Oh, get down! What? There. What the fuck did I just witness? Oh, your place. All right. Okay. Well, the... let's attack. Who's this? Is that person? That's, That's a, a person. person. Don't can't really get. Let's get some free bunnies on the go. Oh. Go on, lads, bring it all on. It, see, it asks me, when you fight, it asks me, do I want to join in? Damn right you do. And obviously I'm like, oh hell yeah! I'm going to force the bunny to come all the way over here. End of my turn. Tactical play. Was that tactical play? Yeah. You ran away from one bunny when there's two of us. Dude, for the viewers at home, they want to see tactics. <laughs> the viewers, the viewers want to see that kind of magic. <laughs> That's exactly what they're after. I was showing them the edge of the battle. So you know exactly what's going on. I am gonna have to get into the habit of ending my turn. No, that's cool. I like waiting ten years for you to make a decision. Ah, and it works out for the best of us then. Oh, seriously, I moved too far away. It's gonna take about an hour to get back. <laughs> <laughs> what you're witnessing here is a pro. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Go fuck. <laughs> go fuck yourself. Well, with your damage, I could literally do a fucking lap of the Olympic Stadium at your rate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very funny. Oh, seriously. You, are you close enough? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got the last laugh now! Yeah. What was that? Um, teleportation. Oh, well that was sweet. Can I kill it now? You know what? Just fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for your backup in that one, Steve. That was, um... I was showing everybody at home what it looked like. The map. Alright, let's Ready? get these two bunnies. So this is actually fairly interesting combat. I'm quite liking yeah. this. It's quite touch-worthy. Where did the other bunny go? I have no idea. Alright, so basically at the beginning when you end the combat here, you've basically got a choice of tiles that you're allowed to move to without a ping on your turn. So I'm, and thankfully, one of the tiles that's selected this turn is happens to be right behind him. So, straight from the get-go I'm in there. And I'm just going to dual jab him. Just fucking want to give him some. Being right. behind enemies does really seem to benefit you, doesn't it? Yeah. It does I mean, seem... if you shift behind him now with your turn... I am in there, once you've ended yours. Um, yeah, I was getting onto that. Cheers. Alright, so... It's really annoying, I'm going to get used to it. <laughs> Why yeah. didn't I do any damage when I was behind him? Because you're not as awesome as me, clearly. But I am like... Yeah, but I made the bunny upset, did you see that? I'm sure he's bothered. Yeah, he's not liking it, is he? Alright, when I come from behind, it seems lol. I come from behind. <laughs> seems that my damage just becomes... Just rape. So that's cool. So... Oh, oh, this is quite a good little thing as well. Basically, depending on how many times you move, use a particular spell, you actually get experience points towards that spell. So, like, if, for example, you're into sort of your, your top MMOs, like your Final Fantasies, and yeah, sorry, Final Fantasy is a top MMO. Fucking man, piss myself. <laughs> <laughs> World of Warcraft is a top MMO. You, know, you can spam Frostbox 75,000 times and it gains no benefits. It's quite interesting to see a system where you can favour your sort of your top three moves, if you like. And you will actually generate points. So if you're more of the healing kind, when you play a hybrid, you know it seems to me from just making quick assum assum assumptions. Do you want to join my combat? Um, yeah, get the fuck in. I'm all on that. Have it, have it, son. Have it. I'm all about it. Who are we fighting? Another rabbit. Oh, look at him coming in from a distance. No, he's gone. Where is he? I can't see the cheeky little beggar. He's behind my head. Oh, well, it's because you've got a dob ahead. All right, I got. Sure turn. I'm getting there. Just weigh my options. Does that arrive you? To be honest, it's oh, what the hell is that? It's called getting in. Oh, look at that! Shit. Oh, that's how I roll, boys. That's poetry in motion. That's how I roll. All right, my turn. Coming in for a sneaky number. I go around the back. Flid. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, apparently that's my turn over. It's <laughs> pretty sweet, obviously. Excuse me, Gab. Are you a pro? Bang. Bang. He'd be dead now, by the way, if you don't say my damage as me. Just gonna throw that out there. Yeah, well. Oh, I fucking got him. my Jesus web. Just got him my turn. Go on, son. You might be able to finish him in your turn. What does that lick do? That. I need to right click. When you've got a tongue like sandpaper, there's nothing good to lick in the face to do some damage and destabilize the enemy a bit. 
Mm. That's pretty fascinating. Yeah, it's awesome. I've got a sandpaper tongue, Bad Stevie. Cheek. Go, Han. That's really cool. I'm really loving that. Yeah, did you see that, guys? Yeah, viewers, I'm loving that. They're all cracking one out now. Result. I kind of want more than one rabbit gun. Look at this little pack on that. They're clearly family. We got family. <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> kill that family. Oh, bro. oh this is multi oh, rabbit ah. combat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sway it up. All right, skull. Which target you want to attack? You uh, got the first turn, so. Oh, sweet. I'm on the board. Don't worry. No, you're you're faster than me, so you get the first turn because you're like a ninja. <laughs> That, you do some really tasty dupes, to be fair yeah. to you. I reckon if you can get in there, it's seven health what left. What moves have I got? Oh, for the love of God, I need to finish my turn. I'm gonna just try stuff here. Heads or tails? Give it a bit of that. Oh! Did you what see that? Hell? God, I read the description of one of my spells for two seconds. And... Hello! What are you doing? I'm using heads or tails. Inflicts between minus three and minus six HP. Times two with the god a flip card and it heals sometimes so that seems like a move that I want to be a part of it definitely seems balanced I like picking DPS to not do as much DPS what class are you? no idea I am the wolf woman fantastic that's not a class I don't think <laughs> well I mean it is technically a class but oh no see that didn't do that much dupes that time distribute your temple ah fan dabby dozy I'll show you this to the the champs at home in two seconds. It's probably worth noting. Let's finish these bunnies off first. End your turn. Prop, oh, prop, prop, prop kick you. I don't ever fear these bunnies. It's got to be said. Oh, I just finished one off and then on to the next one. As you would say. All right. Let's uh, end my turn. See if you can get behind that cheeky little beggar. So this 94% chance to dodge, who is that referring to then? Is that, uh... The enemy. He's got a 94% chance to dodge. What is he, Gohan? No, I, pres <laughs> <laughs> I presume actually it must be our dodge chance then. Um, yeah, I'll quickly show you this, guys. You might want to do this as well. If yeah. you press P, you bring up essentially what is your character display screen. So you can see a breakdown of your stats, what you've got plus damage into, initiative, critical hits, backstabs, that sort of thing. Down the bottom, you'll see you have distribute your 10 out of 10 points. I see. Click that very, very much, like the Ragnarok feature itself. You can then choose what you want to put your corresponding points into. So if you want to craft your character towards me and more of a tank, obviously you're going to start stacking your points and your HP and your dodge. However, if you're more like me and you literally just want to kick people in the face, you're probably going to be more inclined to put things into what I presume would be strength to improve damage. Yeah. Increases damage and resistance to earth attacks. So... I see. That's a fairly interesting... By all accounts... It looks like you have standard abilities like health, etc. Uh, movement. That's all quite interesting. Uh, as well as kind of specialities that are tied in towards your actual class. So you can... It looks as if there's a fair amount of customization you can do. And you're not kind of... Um, it really annoys me in a game where simple things like you have to pick between health or more power. I really like it when the game says, here's some points to spend on your kind of core attributes, and here's some points to spend in fluff, if you like, a little bit of extra damage, a move that does yeah. a little bit more. It, it's really nice. I mean, I, I, I did love Ragnarok, but at times that did tunnel you very much down one path, and that was all you could really go into. Although I have read, I don't know if it's been changed now, so correct me if I'm wrong, but these points are permanent. Once you lock them in, there's no kind of you reset them. So that's quite worrying from a perspective of I was leveling a healer with uh, Laura, and I was worried that if I picked the wrong things at the start, mm. then perhaps at the end game people would almost be like, well, no, sorry, but you need to have maximum points in this, and there would be no way to go about it. Mm. I, I don't know how grindy would, it is, but that would be something that would yeah, be quite annoying. I would, I would heavily assume, though, that this is a very early stage of this game, isn't it? I mean, what Wackfu is pretty much brand spanking them out of the oven. That's something you'd surely think that they would change along the line. Whether they punish you with real gold amounts of microtransactions, or whether that would be something included in a monthly sub, or gold in-game. I'd have thought that's something eventually they'd get around to sorting. 
Because, I mean, they're going to need to. I mean, look at this abundance of things you can put points in. Yeah, there's, the there's fence, no way you're going to get it flags. right. I mean, you've got masteries of water, air, AP, air, fire, MP. I mean, new players. I mean, this hasn't been particularly well explained. Um, you know, I mean, in fact, I kind of mash buttons to get to this screen now. So, <laughs> it's a little bit stupid as well. However, it says you have 10 points to distribute, but one point counts for two. I mean, yeah, for example, that's... strength. I want to put 10 points in strength. <laughs> I can only put five in, and that consumes 10. Why not just give me five points, but... Yeah, the, the, the math know. is a little bit strange. Oh, hold on, this one's even better. One point equals ten on this one. <laughs> oh, I see. I, I guess you've just got to think of them as like less like you can put ten points into it, and more like I have ten points, but certain more kind of valuable things yeah. cost more. But fair so. enough. I mean, yeah, to be fair, Ragnarok done a similar thing as well. So, not that I keep on wanting to refer to that game, but it does seem like a lot of elements from that. But uh, this seems fairly interesting. So, yeah, something good. that we'll. Uh, so we'll just finish off this here. rabbit and then we'll, we're will we going to call it uh, a day on this, but uh, the next thing I think we're going to look at is more kind of the ecosystems, how they actually work in the game, uh, and go from there, because that does seem like something that really could be quite interesting if they can pull it off. If you can develop a kind of habitat, it would be pretty damn cool, almost kind of sandbox ish which, mm. which would really, uh, unfortunately, good sandbox games these days are ridiculously hard to come across. And it all feels pretty smooth. I mean, I, I didn't know how it was going to work when it was going to be turn-based, but it feels quite involved. And I can imagine yeah. uh, some of the dungeons and mm -hmm. stuff do get really quite uh, exciting. Yeah. I mean, one thing I'd want to show as well here is that when we brought up that screen, you have your masteries for all of your different elements. Basically, on your moves, you can see you've got essentially a corresponding element. You can see Thunderbolt apparently is fire, because that makes loads of sense. Shaker is earth, and then Jabs is oh, what I presume seems psychic or physical. Depending on what you put your ability points into, you strengthen a particular element. So you can see here, I put points in strength, which is apparently, for this character, bonus to earth damage. Yeah. Now, now when I go to use... or oh, some end in my turn, because I took so long. <laughs> 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 it took so long to explain The it. commentator's curse strikes. Yeah. And I'm going to finish off the rabbit now. But yeah, it does look as if those particular things do relate to um, the actual moves themselves. So that's very cool. I'm just going to get... Oh, this could be a... Oh, hello! Well, this is certainly pretty damn cool. So, yeah, I mean, before it decided to end my turn, I was going to show that essentially now my Shaker has a possibility to be minus sort of five to six damage, whereas before it was only doing minus three. So you know, those points in strength do make a difference, and I always really love that in games where one level you see the you see the difference in what your character can or cannot do. Games where you level up and you see no benefit whatsoever are just like, ah, oh, fuck's sake. Oh, I'm too Hello, far pretty. away to really do anything here, unless you can attack on a slant. You got your jump button, can you uh, uh I don't know if I have a jump. Oh well I heard the skill based. Yeah, very funny. Ah I can attack from an oh. enemy. Yeah, that seems balanced. I just gave him some lad. Gave him some. Alright, end your turn. Oh, sorry. I will get the hang of that. Those rabbits are moving in man. The walls yeah. are closing in. Jesus. Well they don't they don't even want to know what's gonna happen here. It's gonna be Oh hello, okay. Give him some. That's the plan. So that's so now you can move. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right. I mean, what I love other games like Final Fantasy Tactics almost crippled you. Basically, if you chose to move at the beginning, you then couldn't move later in a turn. It seems like as long as you've got points on this, you can use them in any rotation you want. So if you want to jab one, sort of teleport to the other, and hit, as long as you've got the movement points, it doesn't seem like the game has boundaries on that. Yeah, it does seem fairly interesting. Oh, very interesting. Look at this rabbi. He's fucking oh, fast. He's giving it some, isn't he? He is. Him. He's having you. Go for it. What a cheeky little sausage. He's not technically a rabbit. He's. What? Why did you go to the new one? Why did I go to the new one? Yeah, we could have like Let's taken. See. see you can kill fastest. Even though you had a head start. Well, yeah, when you've got horse shit damage like that, how's a man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just spamming the one button that I have learnt. End your turn. Yeah, don't worry, I'm on that. <laughs> See the frustration in my voice, fucking end <laughs> You dick. <laughs> Any time today would be swell. Oh. 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 oh, for God's sake, OP. God, damage race. Mm. Oh, I'm a support character, man. I'm not really built for the dupes. Support? You're a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of support have you got? Oh, excellent, level up. Alright guys, well we're going to uh, love you and leave you. Hope you enjoyed this kind of brief introduction to it. It's a game that uh, I've heard people speaking about but haven't seen that much online. So uh, hopefully we'll bring you a couple of uh, videos in our series. And uh, okay. 
We'll see you uh, soon. Um, I just got a fucking bunny hat as well. Oh my god, that's just a, that's just right, the right, perfect note to end, end on. We're gonna have to end on that because we're <laughs> now. See you later, guys. Cheers. Bye.